Hi, I'm Arjan. And I'm Matthijs. And uh, we are Code Orange Games. And um, here we have a short tutorial about our upcoming game, Collision. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do uh, some moves. And uh, yeah, you get an impression uh, what the game's about. Uh, well, I'd say uh, let's start. Yeah, we'll do. Uh, we're gonna start out. Uh, we already deployed the models. We randomly put them on the table. Uh, normally you have a mission and everything. Now we've put one collision token over there that we need to capture. And we already put the uh, models fairly close to each other so we can get straight to the action. Okay, um, the first thing you do at the start of your turn is um, we're gonna uh, um, uh, bid for the initiative during the activation phase. And to do that, we use our action points. These are our action points. During this game, we're gonna play with five action points. If you have more models and play bigger point values, you also get more action points. Um, and we're gonna secretly bid a amount of action points. And the player who bids the most action point, uh, points gets the first turn, or the first activation. So, all right, we both bid something. That's zero for me and one for Arjen. Yes. Um, you have to put the one you bid into your used action points uh, part of your uh, uh, dashboard. And you can use the other four action points to activate your miniatures. Yes. So and you uh, have one extra. Yeah. Ah, the same. Yeah. So I haven't bid zero, so I have now I have five left. So we're gonna start with the activation phase. This is the most important phase of the game because this is where all the action happens. So this is also yeah, the most fun. But we're gonna draw some cards we can take on hand. Yep. At the start, you get three hand cards for each player, and, and you get a bonus one because you uh, won the uh, priority. Priority. Yes. So okay. So I have four cards on hand. Okay, Arjen, you can activate one of your miniatures. Yeah. You just have to pay one action point. So you put one action point token next to your miniature to show that you want to activate him, and you can do two actions with him. Yeah. Uh, if you prefer, you can uh, put it on the uh, character stat card if you'd like. Yeah. But that's uh, optional for the, this tutorial. We'll do it next to the miniature. Um, if I activate uh, a miniature, I can do two actions. Yeah. So my uh, first action is a move action. And yep. on my stat card, it says four inch. Yeah. So I move four inch and I make sure uh, I want to shoot on the executioner. And so I make sure he's in my front arc. And he is. So I'm going to measure it. It's uh, uh, nine inch. Yep. So it's uh, a, a assault rifle uh, has a range of eighteen inch. inches. So you're in range. I'm uh, uh, yeah in half range, so I have no uh, uh, negative modifier on my shots. And it has two shots, so I get allowed to draw two cards. Yeah. Um, my assault rifle on his stats has a plus one on the draw for uh, it's an assault rifle uh, and no ne negative uh, modifier of range, so I can uh, add one modifier to my card. Yeah, to one of your cards. To uh, one of uh, yeah. So I put them here, and I'll put one modifier on this card. Okay. Um, I I must draw two cards as well because I get uh, two shots. Um, and my model is behind uh, heavy cover over here. He's behind the car. That gives him two points of uh, cover, so two po positive modifiers. So um, I'm going to put this card over here with two plus two, and this one over here. Interesting. So we're going to reveal the cars at the same time. I've got a three over here and a five. Okay, so this five over here gets a plus one modifier, becomes a six against a three that beats my card. So that means it inflicts one wound. Uh, my five has two modifiers, so it's a seven against your one. That means it didn't beat my card, so that is one wound. You can now, if you want to, play hand cards. An attacker can play hand cards first. And hand cards, they replace the... Uh, cards that you have drawn. So you yep. put them face down on top of them if you want to. 
uh, well, the, the, aggressor, the aggressor can always start. So uh, in this case, uh, I pass. Okay. Um, I'm going to play one card over here. And now Aryan can react if he wants to. Um, if we have two consecutive passes, then uh, this phase stops and we review all hand cards. Yeah, so and you can cannot uh, endlessly put other cards on top. Yeah. You can only uh, uh, play one card on one card. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, well, show me, I pass. So I pass as well. So that means that we review the cards. Nice. Six versus six. It's, it's a draw. It's a draw. Uh, this one is a win for you. So you didn't beat uh, my uh, cards. That means he doesn't get any wounds. So yeah. he uh, uh, has a lucky day today. Yeah. Um, and the cards, you put them in the discard pile. Yeah. So now it's my turn to activate a miniature. Uh, because you can activate uh, one miniature at a time. So I'm yes. going to uh, activate my uh, brawler over here with his assault rifle. And I'm going to move him towards this um, loot point over here. Um, my model has a movement of five. And wanted are a little bit faster than the reclaimers. So I can move five inches. That means he can move uh, over here. Or over here. And I'm going to collect the token. Um, if you collect a loot point, you get a extra hand card. So I can put this in my hand. Um, and sometimes you can even unlock special rules for certain miniatures, which is not the case in this example. Um, normally, uh, during normal game, we're going to draw a card to see where the loot coin point respawns on the table. But for this tutorial, we decided to skip that. Yes. So that were my two actions with my uh, brawler. Yeah. So Arjen, it's your turn. Uh, yes. Um, I'm gonna activate my protector with shotgun. Yep. And uh, he's getting very close. And you don't want the unwanted close. Mm -hmm. So put my miniature here. It's pre-measure, so I can always see if you're in range. Yeah, he's in range. But for this example, uh, I do not uh, uh, shoot shoot because I want to uh, show you the guard uh, action. Put it on guard. So when an enemy uh, begins or ends an action in line of sight, uh, you can shoot. Yeah. It's a very powerful action to cover, for example, the objective. Yes. So I'm going to turn this uh, because it's in my front arc. And one, uh, 180 front arc. Yeah. So I can activate one of my miniatures. Yeah. So I'm going to activate this guy over here. The executioner is going to move uh, forward. He's quite a brutal character in close combat. So I really want him to get as close as possible to the enemy. Um, that means you can move halfway to the cater over here. And that's the end of my first activation. So um, the guard action um, uh, interrupts my turn now to uh, uh, do your guard action. Yeah, yeah well, uh, shotgun uh, is uh, six inch, so I'll measure it to make sure, but I already did. Should be a problem. Yeah, uh, has no uh, positive or negative modifiers, but it shoots three shots and I lose my guard. Yeah, and you get a minus one modifier for being on guard. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, so uh, I draw three cards from the power deck and minus one. Yeah, which one of your cards you're gonna give a minus one modifier? Yeah. Okay, great. My best card. <laughs> yeah, that's always a good idea. Um, I'm going to draw three cards as well, and I'm going to uh, put them on the face of Matt. And now it's always a little bit a challenge. Is this really a high card or a low card, of course? So no. I'm going to do it like this. I have no modifiers whatsoever because I'm right there in the open. I have no cover, and my model doesn't have a uh, defense bonus. Um, so no modifiers for me, uh, sadly. So we can flip the cards. Yep. Ooh, ah, always oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lucky. Ah, that's, Ooh, that's, that's one hit. hit. 
and equal. All right. Uh, interesting. There are uh, this is here are some some chances to play some hand cards, I guess. Yes. So we're gonna grab our hand cards again, and yeah. Arjen can um, play a hand card first yeah, if he likes. Yeah, do this. Uh, yeah, it's interesting because uh, the only uh, card to beat him is with a success. Yep. If I uh, put an eight on this card, it uh, doesn't matter because I didn't beat his score. Uh, well, this obvious. This is one for me. And this one, hmm. Um, I think you are bluffing quite a lot. So I'm decide. I will decide not to play. I will play one hand card over here. <laughs> I will play one hand card over there. <laughs> okay. So uh, you pass. Yeah. Yeah. I pass too. Okay. So. Uh, Ooh, oh, yeah. it's a swap. Yeah, uh, it still gets a minus one modifier. Um, so the six becomes a five, but it's high enough to beat my four. And I've played a seven here, and I beat your six. That means that I get one wound. Yes. All right. Uh, unwanted are quite tough, and they have a special rule, who, uh, which is called tough height, obviously. If I draw an eight or a, a success card, I will um, block the, the wound. Or save the wounds, and uh, I don't get the wounds. Uh, and it's a fixed draw, so I can't play any hand cards to modify this uh, draw. It's a one, so sadly yeah. I can't save the wound. That means yeah. I get one wound token next to my miniature. So that was my first action. <laughs> my second action, I'm gonna try to charge um, the guy with the shotgun over here. Um, he is uh, within. Three and a half inches, so that becomes four inches. Yeah. Um, I have to draw a card from my power deck, and we're going to use a secondary number on the card to see if I manage to make uh, a successful charge. Yeah. And so the charge is random. Yep. Definitely. Um, I draw an eight. The secondary number is four. That means it's a successful charge. So this is going to be great. <laughs> it's going to be uh, bloody. Hell yeah! I'm going to move these tokens over here. All right, now this is uh, the favorite part for any unwanted player. We can use our um, executioner chain. Um, and it's a very, very powerful weapon. Um, it only has one attack, so I have to uh, <laughs> make it count. What's uh, uh, so powerful about a uh, 20-pound uh, <laughs> piece of concrete? In your face. In your face. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we're gonna see what's going to happen. I can draw one card, but he gets a uh, plus four modifier. Ouch! <laughs> so it's gonna be uh, 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 all your eggs in one basket, yeah, kind of thing. So I have one card. He gets a plus four, so we can uh, we can move him over here. Yeah, just to show a little bit that's a plus four. And you have no modifiers, I'm afraid. No. For courage, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Ah, oh! Even this mighty eight doesn't save your uh, <laughs> your height. Um, and to make things worse, uh, this is such a powerful weapon. You can understand if you get a big chunk of concrete in your face, um, it's gonna hurt. So it yep. inflicts two wounds. Two wounds. Yeah. Okay. But luckily, um, you uh, put on some armor before yes. you went to battle, so yep. uh, you can make two armor saves. Yeah. On a seven plus. Yeah, that means a negate, 7, uh, an 8 or a success. So yeah. the first hit. Ouch. That's a wound. Oh, and a yeah. success. success. Oh, yes. Too bad. Oh, too bad. Only one wound. Oh, nice. that's going to hurt. Yes, yes, nice, nice. Cool. We're going to put a wound token next to him. Yes. Uh, and I go one inch. Uh, yeah, you are being pushed one inch backwards. Yep. Okay, uh, yeah, well, now it's my turn. Yeah, if you want to activate a uh, miniature a second time, you have to pay two action points instead of one action point. Um, but you have luckily two action points left, so there's no problem for you. Okay, um, I activate my collector second time. Yep. Because in the end, it's always about Collision. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, 
Oh, it's about to see here. Yeah. And well, the the other points. Move. Yeah, second action is another move. Yeah. Okay, so move, move on the objective. Yeah, and well, I pick it up. The objective. Or I'm on the objective, so uh, in this case, I'm winning. <laughs> For now. For now. Um, all right, so this is um, um, an interesting choice for me. I can either run to the objective and uh, 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 try to claim the objective, or I can smash in the face of the, uh, the guy with the shotgun. Um, well, I'm gonna, um, I like to win games, so I'm gonna activate this guy over here and I'm gonna kill him next turn. Um, I'm gonna ex uh, activate my uh, brawler and with my first action I'm gonna see if I can range with my assault rifle because uh, most range weapon ha weapons have also a minimum range and for the assault rifle it's a minimum range of uh, 3 inches so if the enemy is within 3 inches I cannot attack but you're on 4 inches so my first action is gonna be a shoot action uh, again 2 cards yeah. Um, unwanted, uh, as you have probably guessed, aren't the best shots out there. So they start out with a minus two modifier on their profile uh, during shooting. An assault rifle gives you a plus one modifier, so that gives me a total of a minus uh, one modifier. Yeah. So I'm gonna put my cards down, like this. And one of my cards I have to give a minus one, so it's gonna be the second card. Yeah, you have no cover, you're right there in the open, yeah. no defense, so um, you're going to start out with a fail card. Um, uh, this is looking uh, promising. Yeah, that's, that's uh, <laughs> um, no hits for me. Of course, I can play some, I can play some uh, hand cards. Maybe you want to... Yeah, if you have a fail card in the end of your turn with a shooting attack, your weapon jams. And that's um, uh, quite a drawback because you need to, to use one of your actions to reload your weapon or uh, uh, clear your weapon to activate it again. But yeah, next time, uh, next turn, I want to charge, so it's it's it, it isn't the end of the world uh, in this uh, this case. But I'm gonna play one hand cards on this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I play one uh, card on this one, so I pass. Okay, I pass as well. Okay. So it's... Uh, one hit? Yes. Uh, I have no uh, armor on the collector. Yep. So I put one damage token. Okay, can I remove these two over here. And now I have to make a choice. Uh, one option is to do a charge, but I can only make a successful charge because we're within four inches with a seven, an eight, or a success. So there's only three cards in my deck that can make a successful charge. I can also decide to do another shooting attack. So I'm going to opt for another shooting attack. But if you uh, do the same action twice in a row, you get an extra minus two modifier. That means that this shooting attack gives me in total a minus three modifier on my shooting attack. But yeah, I'm going to take my uh, uh, chances. Uh, it uh, only takes one success card. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put these cards down and I have three, uh, a minus three modifier. I can also divide them onto cards. That's what I'm gonna do. I give him a minus one and him a minus two. Okay. Uh, okay. We're gonna flip the cards again. Whoo. Very lucky for me. Yes. This becomes a zero against your seven. It's no hit. But this uh, is still a five uh, against your uh, fail card. So um, that's uh, in this case one wound for me. But you're, you can play a hand card because I decide not to play a hand card because one wound is all I need. So I'm not going to play any hand cards. No. Um. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's obviously uh, uh, a bluff on your side, so I'm not going to play any hand cards. <laughs> it was worth <laughs> <the> trying. <laughs> yeah, too bad, Arjen. Yeah, uh, yeah, that, yeah. That, that two card isn't going to save your life. So nope. I'm going to shoot this uh, uh, reclaimer uh, off the objective. 
and uh, the second one is dead. Yeah, really nice. Um, so it's Aryan's turn to activate one of his miniatures, but he has no action points left. That means uh, no activation for no. you. So it's my turn. I only have one activation point left, and I have to pay two activation points to activate him, or three activation points to activate him. And I only have one, so I can do anything this turn either. So that's the end of the first turn. Now we're going to do the end step of the turn. Yeah. We're going to collect our action points, put them all back uh, in your activation pool, and you can even uh, grab the ones in your used uh, action pool. And you can all put them yep. in your activation pool. So we both have all our action points left. So now we're going to start, uh, we would normally start another turn. Um, and Aryan has only one model left, but he has multiple uh, uh, action points. So he can use all his action points to activate one miniature. So even if you're losing miniatures, you still have action points to do more activations with your miniatures, uh, essentially. So you're always uh, in the fight. Okay. Uh, well, this uh, wraps it up uh, for now. Yeah. I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed and uh, got uh, uh, an impression what you can do with Collision. Thank you and uh, see you. Yeah, goodbye. Bye-bye.